trabajando o qué? ¿Qué? Trabajando. Pero aquí, ¿trabajan o qué? Sí, pero ¿Qué? igual, no, ¿Qué? No, no todo el tiempo se puede bañar uno porque. Uno tú puedes, puede si tú quieres. Venga, venga, rápido, ¿eh? Venga, venga. Sí, <risa> ¿Qué tal otra vez? <risa> ah, dos, tres, ocho. Gracias. Oh, and good morning. Good morning from here in San Jose, Costa Rica. I've never tried this before. It looks like a banana, but it's not. Um, and today is actually a pretty intense day. Vincent's going since about 3.30. Uh, and today is the first day of Operation Abroad as well. So it's about 7 a.m. now, eating, then running a program for two hours. Then we're on a road trip today because this is not our final destination. This was just a recuperate from the 47 hours of travel. Um, and then today we're off, um, off on a road trip. But first eat, program, and then hit the road. Oh my goodness, Operation Abroad just finished. Oh my goodness, so we, man, it was amazing. Thank you everyone who showed up for it. As you guys know, uh, it, oh, just amazing program. But now I'm gonna get the day started, but there is three sessions left of it for this month, so if you guys wanna join, it's not for purchase publicly. You have to send me an email if you still wanna get into it. Um, and on that note, it is a kind of a drizzly day, but an amazing session. I'm so full of energy and now going to pack up the room and we're going on a four and a half hour road trip to the south, which is actually eventually where we're going to settle in. And uh, whew, yeah, I'm going to walk in the woods and just check it out, earthing a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're going to spin. So we just got to Puerto Viejo, which is uh, like in the southern part. I think we're only like 20 minutes from Panama. Um, we found a really quiet location as you guys can hear, as you can hear. It's super quiet, super chill. I don't know what's going on next. We're gonna find a place, maybe see if we can get some scooters, because um, everything's kind of a bit far away. And it's a much different temperature than, than San Jose. I think San Jose is at a higher elevation. Here it seems much more chill, um, more quiet, Everything's more spaced out. The temperature is more humid here, and at the same time, it feels it feels like um, like a very chill, laid back. It feels like I'm on an island. Honestly, it feels like island life here. Um, so that's a little bit of an update. Uh, no idea what's next. I think they're gonna go get some scooters so we can get around without our driver. Um, different scooter than huh. we're kind of just at the store right now getting some things but whoo seems like a super chill super chill place I feel like it's it's really like kind of like a backpackers place as well everyone's kind of just chilled out hola Everyone's kind of super chill, but more importantly, can you see this beach and the weather? 
seems like a place you come to just <sighs> that's how I'm feeling as I just went to the grocery store got some things but and not but and I must say it's an interesting experience interesting adventure I didn't see this coming if you would have told me four days ago that I'd be in Costa Rica at all I feel absolutely not and now it's like life happens just like this you can fight it, you can do all these kind of things, but I think we start to kind of embrace it. You embrace change because change is gonna happen whether you want it to or not. And if you, the more you try to fight it, the harder it is to make the change. And one thing that I tell my clients and I tell people who, who are coming to me for advice is that the cost of change grows exponentially the more you resist it. The more you resist change, the more you resist things happening to you, the greater the cost is to finally make that change the next time you try. Oh, and I brought you back here uh, to kind of end the vlog because I have a feeling that I'm probably on the run or doing something. I'm gonna forget to end it, so we're ended here in a very peaceful place, hearing birds I've never heard before, seeing ants that are like this big, iguanas. It's 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 an interesting experience, such as most things. And I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me, and I'll speak to you all later. And in the meantime, everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.